Hello, this is Frank Smith, and I will be leading this tutorial along with Pam Harrison and with the assistance of Kate Speech. The purpose of this tutorial is to help ICI staff members get a better sense of how to use the AUCD's National Information and Reporting System, hereafter referred to as NIRS, to report on their projects and the outputs of these projects. This tutorial will be archived and made available for staff members who would like to return to it to continue learning. So don't worry about taking notes during these sessions. Today, we will show you where you can access the site and log on, and we will show you how you can use the projects, activities, and products areas to view what is happening with your projects and to add records for project outputs. We will not show you how to use the trainees, reports, and goals areas today, as those are of less importance to this audience. Now, outputs is a term we will frequently use throughout this tutorial. Put simply, an output is anything that gets created by ICI staff for the purpose of sharing it with an entity outside of ICI. Some quick examples of different types of outputs are a data summary that is prepared for an outside stakeholder, a short technical assistance phone call to a person or organization outside of ICI, an on-site or off-site training event, a material developed to market an event or website, or a research publication. How these different types of outputs get entered into NIRS will be explained later in the tutorial. Why is NIRS entry important? As you said, and also having a LEND program, we are required to enter project and output information into NIRS for projects we work on and outputs we produce. The reporting year runs between July 1st and June 30th of every year. Thus, the current reporting period covers all work from July 1st, 2009 through June 30th, 2010. AUCD, our central organization for all USEDs and LENDs, uses the NIRS data for its annual report to the federal government. The USEDs are funded through the Administration on Developmental Disabilities, ADD, who requires all centers to report their data via NIRS. This data, reported both as an annual report and during the continuing application process, is used to report to Congress how the USED network uses the funds allocated. Similarly, the Maternal and Child Health Bureau, MCHB, reports LEND activities and products as part of HRSA's report to Congress. This database is also used periodically throughout the year by AUCD to report to special requests by the funding agencies. For example, what are the USEDs doing in the area of employing people with autism spectrum disorder? Or how are USEDs responding to self-advocates within their states? These reports are critical to continued funding of our activities. The fact that this is required is certainly enough to merit entry, but there are numerous other reasons NIRS data entry is important. For instance, Bill frequently needs institute-wide project summary updates for reporting to the university. As more of us become familiar with the NIRS data, we hope that the collection of this information will increasingly be helpful to others in their project report writing and application processes for new projects and for reporting our activities to the various populations we serve and work with. Now we're going to log on to the NIRS database website. So we start from the AUCD homepage, and if you look down the left side of the homepage here, you will see in the side menu that there is an area for NIRS with a log on hyperlink. And if we click on this hyperlink, we'll be brought to the NIRS homepage. Once you are at the NIRS homepage, you will need to select the USED and enter your username and password. The list of USEDs is organized alphabetically by state. Since there are two USEDs in Massachusetts, you will want to make sure you select ICI. So going to the center name here, I select ICI. Then you should enter your username and password and log on. If you cannot remember your username and password, or if you have never been assigned a username and password, you should email mark.hutchinson at umb.edu and he will reply to you with your logon credentials. So I've selected our center name and now I'm entering my logon credentials and clicking submit. Now that you are inside of the system, you can see there are different areas of the site you can navigate to in order to enter information and view previously entered information. For each area, there is an Add, Search, 
list slash edit, reports, and data dictionary button or hyperlink. The add button brings you to a blank web form for that area that you can use to enter a new record. The search hyperlink allows you to search for a record or subset of records from a data area based on a query. List edit will bring you to a page that shows all of the records for a particular area and will allow you to view records individually and edit them. Reports allows you to run standardized reports or custom reports for a particular area. The data dictionary defines fields and terms associated with a particular area.